Hey, this is Thinker Thunker, and warning, danger, the resolution on this footage is a little low. This is what happens to even IMAX footage after it's been uploaded and downloaded a time or two. If your delicate eyes can't handle looking at it and you need to leave, I understand. Bye, thanks for coming by. For those of you that stay, you'll still be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so as the story goes, this was an IMAX crew filming Caribou and they accidentally filmed a Bigfoot, which is coming up right there. Let me just zoom in on that a little. And right off the bat, the word went out, no, this was only a crew member. And so we'll just go with that. We'll say this is a crew member and he happens to be wearing all black for some reason. Uh, even his face, it could be a, a black crew member. That's fine, I accept that. But he is wearing all black because look, the caribou are brown and white. We still see those colors out there. But here's some interesting things I found about this IMAX crew member. He is a giant. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know, 10 foot tall, something like that. And he also happens to be probably the fastest human on the planet times about two. And also, watch how smooth he runs. Can you see that? Looks like he's riding a motorcycle or something out there, which, you know, which could be. And I guess, I guess they forgot to mention that it was a giant crew member wearing all black and riding a motorcycle. But anyway, stick around. We're going to take a closer look and uh, I'll show you what I found. Here are some facts about caribou. Females can weigh up to 265 pounds. Males can go up to 400. 2.8 to 4.9 adults at their shoulder. The length, which is going to be important here, a female, a minimum of 5.3 feet up to 6.7, and males can go up to seven feet long. And look at their speed, 37 to 50 miles per hour they can scoot. Okay, so first let's tackle the size issue. So I'm looking out here at the herd for a shot like this one. This is this caribou's running up the side of this embankment. I think it gives us a pretty good feel for its overall length. But then how about this guy up here? It appears a little longer. So we'll just go with this one. And we'll say that it's a female. Now females get up to six foot seven in length. Well, we'll be nice and we'll go with the lower end and say that this only represents five foot three inches. And then we'll go further and say that maybe this is a slightly skewed angle. So we're not getting a good overall shot. And also due to its relative distance, maybe they're out a bit further, making them appear even smaller. So we'll lob off another foot and change. And we'll say that from head to haunches here, only represents four foot. So we'll move the herd over and we'll scroll him out a bit. And remember, we never see anything more than his head and torso. So here we go, the big size comparison. And if that is four foot, his head and torso appear a bit taller. So I think that puts our cameraman at about eight foot tall which wouldn't that make him the tallest man on the planet? And, and doesn't that seem like a strange choice to have out here running through this rough, rocky tundra in the middle of an, a caribou herd risking his life? I mean, are, are seven and eight foot tall guys generally that fleet of foot so that they would be your natural choice to have out here doing this? And, and how about this? What if this isn't four foot? Because remember the males, male caribous, get up to seven foot in length. So what if that's five foot or six foot? Anyway, suffice it to say that that is surely the largest cameraman ever in history. And while sure caribou are beautiful, I think somebody should tell them, here's your movie, point your camera at this guy because he could be his own pro basketball team. 
Okay, so here's a little animation I came up with to help us understand what we're seeing. So we're way up in the air, bird's eye view, looking down on this camera as it films two objects. And it's easy to see that the yellow object up here has to travel much faster and go much further than the red object just to appear to be moving at the same rate. And something else important to keep in mind is the further an object is from us, the smaller it appears. Okay, so next let's do speed. And look at our guy up there. He appears to just kind of be floating, doesn't he? So, bearing in mind our animation, what I did to give us a better idea of this was I marked one of the caribou so we could have an actual race. So here he comes, our contestant, and they're off. And sadly, it looks like the caribou won. Of course, they can run up to 50 miles per hour. And also in their favor, this is a flat patch of earth they're running on here before they go back into the drink over here. And you know, who knows what rough rocky terrain he's running on. You have to admit for a seven, eight foot or taller guy, he's incredibly fast and fluid. But he appears at this point to either change direction or his speed falls off. Now it's kind of funny that there's a saying about runners who hit the wall, whose speed dramatically drops, and that is that there's a monkey on their back. Well, guess what? There's a monkey on his back. Look, nothing, nothing, and something. Nothing, something, and it remains. Nothing on its back, and then something jumps, right? One, two, and it's up there. Oh, also look at that brow ridge right there. And it appears, little tufts up here, very odd. Anyway, back to the monkey on the back. So at full speed, he runs by and I'm sorry, but what appears to be a little one jumps on its back and off they go. So you might be a little slower too if, uh, if something jumped on their back. And you know, after I saw this, it reminded me of something where I, I saw where that monkey on your back saying came from. Go look, go find some footage. There is a group of, of natives in say Africa or someplace, and they use baboons to hunt wild boars. And they'll literally throw the baboons and the baboons will run up and jump on the boar's backs and slow them down. And then the, uh, the natives are able to kill them. So, and these baboon are able to jump on, on the back of boars running at full speed, which might be 30, 35 miles per hour. So, all I'm saying is, it is possible for one creature to be moving fast and another jump on its back. Am I saying this is a Bigfoot or Sasquatch and that's a baby Sasquatch because something jumps on its back? No, I'm not, I still can't prove it. But I have read, I, I don't know how many posts from experts saying, oh yes, when I saw this, uh, it was clearly a cameraman and it clearly had a backpack on its back. Well, what kind of backpack? Is it a magnetic backpack where, you know, where all you have to do is run past and it snaps to your back? Because I would like to see that. 
Or some might try to say, well, the backpack was on his stomach and he just kind of flipped it. No. No, I'm sorry. There's nothing on him here or her here. And suddenly, starting there, up it goes. You see this little patch of white here, and I don't know if that's a foot or what, but there is a monkey on its back. So there's our closer look. And as always, if you happen to know where there is a micro midget herd of unknown caribou, and you have footage of yourself out running with this micro midget uh, herd of caribou who are remarkably slow so that you look like a giant, a fast, speedy giant, please post that footage and we would all like to have a look at that because really that would be the only way to explain some of this. So there you go, guys. There, there's the closer look. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, I want to thank you all so much for all of your views and all of your subscribes and all of your comments and your, your likes and sharing my videos with your friends because you are affording me the opportunity to get to create more of these. And believe it or not, these take time. They might not look like it, but they do. I'm just, I'm just one person here. And some of these videos I have to look at years, you know, before something finally dawns on me. Something, you know, that I've never really, that's never really been discussed before. So again, thank you. And that's all I've got. So I hope you enjoyed it and appreciate you watching.